meat lovers of Nairobi, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the local grill. So it is no secret to anyone, I love steak and meat in general. And I'm super excited to be here because like, I mean, we've been in Kenya for four years. I've walked in front of this restaurant so many times. I know personally people who come here for meals, but you can also buy meat directly from the source, the restaurant itself. So maybe I'm gonna look at that. Maybe we're gonna leave with a few T-bone, Tracy. In case you can't tell, David is very excited to be here. We are up to a good start because they didn't bring normal bread. No, 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 no. They brought fresh focaccia, the best kind of bread. Very good too. Thank you. Thank you very much. So for our two starters, we have chicken mashtaki. Mashtaki, mashkaki. <laughs> smells really good, but again, Dave loves beef carpaccio. We don't normally get it because I'm not a huge fan. However, I'm trusting the steakhouse, so we got it, and it looks like a beef carpaccio that I'm even gonna like, so I'm excited to try it. It's really original, I don't know if you can see, but there's actually a piece of sugar cane that holds it together. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That might be the best bite of chicken I've ever had in my life. That is so good. Oh my god. I hate going to restaurants like these because then I go back home and every time I cook chicken, I'm like, <laughs> why do we suck so much? He's not wrong. And I'm the one who cooks and it completely dries out chicken even on a good day, so there's that. Tracy is really bad at cooking chicken, but even me, I can't cook anything close to this. Fantastic. This might have been the best piece of chicken I ever had in my life. That is so good. So, so good. <laughs> the salad is also very good, but I'd exchange it for another piece of chicken any day of the week. I can tell by the look of this that it's thin slicely in the way that I like it. It's got lots of like Parmesan cheese and stuff, so that's a good time. So let's try it out. Oh yeah. So normally why I don't like beef carpaccio, if it's too thick, you get that raw beef texture. This is melting in your mouth. This is so freaking good. Perfect bite. <laughs> the quality of the beef is above and beyond. It is so, so good. Wow. Know, it just right? melts in your mouth. Mm. So I am told that the kitchen started to cook our steak and I don't want to miss the show. Thank you guys. I can't wait to try this steak. Very excited. While we are waiting for the steak, let me talk to you a little bit more about the place itself and the ambiance. The ambiance is super nice, like it's perfect for like a date night. Please feel free to come with your family and friends, but it's like date night, 10 out of 10. Um, otherwise, there's like a first floor where you have like an open kitchen, which I do love. You see the grill, you see the flames and everything, like it's a cool, a cool thing to see and then the second floor super nice as well this is where they have the bar they also have like a little private room that i guess you can just book which gives you extra privacy and i know we are in a mall but the view is kind of cool too so they brought out some extra sauces it's either for like the fries or the steak unsure but we have uh mummy's hot green chili smoky habanero that's the one i'm intrigued by and strawberry chili mint Strawberry chili mint. We'll see about that one. We'll see.
So I got the T-Bone 500 grams. It's massive. They also have a one kg, but that's definitely to share. So for myself, 500 is enough. And it comes with bone marrow. And I was told to eat it while it's still hot. Ooh, oh. <laughs> Lost a part. Mm. It's like a, it's like meat butter. That's fair. Mm. Um, and I got salmon, since you guys know that if the restaurant has salmon, I'm most likely gonna try it. And I haven't even put sauce on this yet because it's cooked to perfection. Mm. This is such high quality, like it is so fatty, salty, flavorful. But I mean, look at the size of this bone. Like it's as big as my head. Salmon bite. See what I mean? Like you can add sauce, mm. but you don't need to. I wouldn't. I know. I've only had one bite with it. It's just like very good quality fish. Just a little like well spiced, mm -hmm. but the salmon itself is so good. It's probably good without any spice. Mm -hmm. I didn't try my mouth. Mm. And now the moment of truth. The steak. Okay, first of all, I ordered it medium, and I would say that is a medium steak. That is a good table. So there is a few good steakhouses here in Nairobi. There's one inside the uh, Sankara Hotel in Westlands, one at Copper, I think, inside the Social House. And we love both those places, but I have to say that I had to return steaks uh, at those places before because they weren't properly cooked. But this is perfectly good. This is exactly what medium looked like. And it tastes good. I just realized I also have pepper sauce, which I didn't even try yet. Very different. Much creamier than what I'm normally used to as a pepper sauce for a steak. And it's also like as a kick. I like that. The fries are super good, just salted enough. The only thing, just maybe a little crispier would be great. So good though. Oh yeah, forgot to try those sauces. I still don't know like if I'm supposed to put that on my steak, but... Yeah, looks like it's gonna be a lot. Mm. Very good. It's yeah. extremely spicy. You, oh. Do you not learn your lesson when we're at... Oh my god. Whoa. Put a little bit, just a little bit. Thank you very much. Okay. Compliment to the chef, this was delicious. <laughs> So as you know, we get one dessert to share, and this is one of the restaurants where I really tried to convince Dave to get to, but um, it didn't work. <laughs> so we are going to get the sticky toffee pudding for dessert. Oh, we already know what we want. <laughs> I already scoped it out. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just get one sticky toffee pudding? Sticky toffee pudding. Just one to share. Thank, Thank you. you. The second option Tracy really wanted was the chocolate fondant. So if you ever come here, uh, try it for us and let us know. Ice cream, a little bit of pudding. <laughs> right? Guys, right? there's nothing I can say that can properly describe this delight. Ooh, so moist. Oh. Like, easily 10 out of 10. Not even a question in my mind. Well, spoiler alert, this is probably the best steakhouse in Nairobi. <laughs> so what stands out to me is for beef carpaccio, like I am not a huge fan because the beef has to be like a really high quality beef in order for me to like this it. This is it though. <laughs> I loved it. Like I ate half the plate, mm -hmm. which that says a lot. Which I was very mad about. Yes. But one thing that stands out is the meat is the star. Um, it's not filled. Yes, you can have your sauce on the side and everything yeah. like that. It's not like full with of oil and everything. Exactly. Minimum spices because really... because the meat is just that good. Yeah, I 1000% agree. Um, moving on to dessert, that is the best egg dessert I've had in a very long time. It was that was a 10 out of 10. Sweet enough, super moist, super like the mushy in the ice cream. 
fresh strawberries. So, so good. It was very, very nice. Overall, yeah. an amazing meal. Yeah. Um, did we say this is in Village Market? No, we didn't. Yeah, it's yeah. in Village Market. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> easy to find. And yeah, I highly suggest it. If you yeah. ever want to meet us, just come come here. We, we're probably going to be here. <laughs> we'll be back for sure. And yeah, until next time. See you guys. In the next one.